flows into the Spring River southwest of Pocahontas near the small town of Black Rock. In 1968, a 44.4 mile stretch was named the 11 Point National Wild and Scenic River, one of the original eight rivers chosen to be part of the United States National Wild and Scenic River System. surprisingly clear despite all the rain. At the beginning, there were a lot of obstacles, bends, twists, turns, shallow points, but it was absolutely beautiful and worth every mile.
Well, good morning. This is day two on the 11 Point River. We put in just maybe a little bit down from Cane Bluff yesterday. Floated a few hours, made about 11 miles. Uh, a lot of twists, a lot of turns, uh, a lot of dog legs in the river. Drug in a few areas this time of year. Uh, it is the end of October. Uh, the river is not at optimal levels. Of course, after this rain and after last night, if this doesn't let up, I'm sure we're going to have all the river levels we want. But um, beautiful run, a lot of features, not as many stop and uh, uh, look access points for uh, landmarks, so to speak, uh, such as springs and various other things or caves. Uh, there's several springs along just the stretch that we ran, but they're they're up to the sides a bit uh, and a little bit of a hike to get to them. And uh, I'll try to give a review of, of what springs are located in where in a later video. But we uh, we ended up making camp last night at Hurricane Creek. That's uh, a creek that enters in from the left probably right at 11 miles down from the Cane Bluff access. It doesn't look like much. You walk up the creek a bit, there's an embankment. Uh, we did notice a lot of wild hog tracks. We've, we've had some experiences with those before, but nevertheless it was getting dark and we didn't want to be setting up camp at night, so we found a nice flat and uh, had to pull a few uh, vines down etc but it's uh it's made it for a really nice campsite just wish the rain would let up a little bit other than that we're gonna have to make uh 20 or so miles today stop along a few things or stop and see some sights along the way but uh last night none of us really slept well we had a large uh, tree crash about 4 o'clock in the morning, maybe about 75 yards back that way, woke everybody up. And we've, uh, listen, I have, uh, I've been on these waterways since I was a kid uh, in Missouri, and we heard some animal sounds last night that I've not heard before. So, uh, it was a pretty unique experience. Uh, we think, well, we're not really sure, <laughs> but uh, it was one of God's creatures. We just have no idea what. Uh, owls, there were three or four having a conversation last night, fairly close. But uh, we didn't sleep, well, some of us didn't sleep really well. Slept like a rock. to give you an idea. Of how things look here. Looks like everybody's just about pitched there. Broke camp. Did you just fall, Brenda? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Heart. Are you okay, seriously?
surprise was once a village on the Eleven Point River at Turner's Mill. The village got its name from John Letcher Clay Turner, who was the postmaster. Clay had said that he was surprised to see the area with the spring and all its potential, so he sent in the name Surprise for the post office, and it took. Historic Turner's Mill was acquired by the Forestry Service in the 1970s. Surprise School was on the National Historic Register, therefore, it was saved for posterity. Of the rest, only the rustic, overshot wheel in the spring branch escaped the demolition. The wheel, which was bought in pieces from the Fremont Depot in 1915, was installed by carpenters John A. Brown and Bill Stewart. The mill at Surprise was powered by a spring that flowed out of a cave. A chute was built out of native rock to carry the water to the wheel, which was connected to the turbine. Part of the chute can still be found near the mouth of the cave, and the spring water still flows clear and cold. Many families from the surrounding area traveled by horse, wagon, and on foot to take their corn to be ground or their wheat to be milled. Many times, the families camped near the river for a few days until their meal was ready. Thank you. 
exposed mill spring emerges from underground producing between 12 and 15 million gallons of water per day on average. Many aquatic plants add several shades of green to the spring branch. As spring waters flow to join the 11 point, they pass through a hand layered rock wall, remnants from the Lucas Bowes grist mill from the late 1800s, an old turbine, as well as the rock wall are all that remain from the old mill. There is a time for love and laughter The days will pass like summer storms The winter rain will follow after But there is love and love is one Well, this is day three on the 11 point. We made a little over 22 miles yesterday. <clears throat> Campsites were there, but just didn't quite, really didn't quite fit our needs. Pretty grown up in places. We did find, uh, we did find this one. That was fantastic. Great place to hang our hammocks, and we, uh, we set up probably 6 o'clock, sunset was 6.22, so just in the nick of a time, or nick of time, but it's, uh, haven't had any coffee yet. It was a really great run yesterday. We hit a set of rapids that may be heavy class 2, borderline class 3, took on a little water, got a little wet. We had the gear for it. We had to stop and change. Everybody got a little cold. Um, that was about the only hiccup in the day, other than the fact that it rained the entire day. But that's what happens. You can't predict the weather. Well, you can get close, but we were way off. That 20% chance of, of rain turned into a 100% day. But it was good. There is a time for us to wander When time is young and so are we The woods are green and over yonder But half is new, the world is free So do your roaming in the springtime, and you'll find 
your love in the summer sun the frost will come oh, and bring the harvest and you can see when the day is done there is a time for us to wander when time is young and so are we the woods are greener over yonder the path is new the world is free life is like a river rolling with no regrets as it moves on around the bend a shining morning to greet the friends we thought were gone